In this video, we will see how to generate signature verification to protect your Android app from tampering. This is very short tutorial so watch carefully. As per the doc, first step will be changing the release implementation and putting it to com.github.mukesalanki.android-tamper-detector under build. Gradle file line number 254. Second step, adding the debuggable true to your build.gradle file, which will be at line number 37 in your build.gradle file. Remember to revert it back once you got your key. Third step, go to the splash.java file and go to the line number 154. Now just uncomment the log statement or snippet in it. Congrats you have completed the three important steps to generate a signed verification key. Now lastly, we will build a signed APK. Warning, never to share this APK version with anyone. This is strictly for debugging purpose. I would suggest you to trash this APK once you got the key. Remember to save this key store value and password somewhere safe. This is a specifically signed version. I won't be installing the app via USB. I recommend that you follow the same approach. Once it's downloaded, simply install it and attempt to enter the application. In the logcat search window, just type the word signature to filter out the signature key that got generated. Once it's generated, let's swiftly proceed to Firebase. Navigate to the remote config section. Here, select validate signature key and set it to true. After that, choose release signature, select value, and input the key we generated just now. Once this is completed, remember to save the changes in Firebase. Your app is ready to be sent to your end user, but before that, we need to revert the changes we made. Comment out the log values in splash.java. Additionally, in the build.gradle file, comment out the line where debugging is set to true and revert the implementation back to its normal state. Once you have completed these steps, build the release version and send it to your user. Remember now, we are installing released version. If you app have previous version that is app that have debugging is true, you can remove it.
Next, let's quickly address how to resolve the unsafe APK notice that may appear when installing your app on a phone. Please note that this is not an instant solution, but it is effective. Follow the steps below, visit the form I shared or request the link from me. Complete the requested information on the form. Proceed to VirusTotal and upload your APK. This will generate key values. Copy the key values and paste them into the provided section on the form. I'm now providing a brief statement, but you can customize it with guidance from the developer. Once finished, click Send. Keep in mind that, based on my research, the verification process by Google may take more than two weeks to remove the warning. Patience is crucial in this situation.